Hello everyone, welcome to our brand new series Code Igniter for Tutorials. Yes, we are here to discuss about a new flavor in Code Igniter that is nothing but Code Igniter 4. We already seen two uh, versions of Code Igniter that is CI2 and CI3 and we didn't observe any much differences in these libraries and almost all almost all libraries was up, upgraded into CI4, CI3. In CI3 some of the libraries was deprecated which are in CI2. Uh, for example, we have JavaScript class, we have shopping cart class, those are all deprecated in our Codeignator 3. And uh, in Codeignator 2, we have Active Record class, in Codeignator 3, we have uh, Query Builder class for to work with the database things and all. Here, we are having a new flavor, it was completely a rewritten framework, the Codeignator 4 is completely rewritten. So there are a lot of differences are there in Code Igniter 3 and 4. Not differences, I cannot say differences. Here it is a completely rewritten framework. The CI4 is here. Exactly, lot of differences are there. So, but architecture is same. They are all following MVC architecture, right? C, CI3, CI4, CI2, all frameworks are following MVC architecture only, but we have a lot of difference. Completely what I want to say, the CI4 was completely rewritten framework. Can you see the last point in this slide? The CI was completely rewritten. So, and they are introducing some new concepts in Codeignator that is nothing but namespaces. One of the very big, very interesting concept, the namespaces is introduced in CI4. Almost all frameworks development, uh, CMS developments are using the concept called namespaces. Yes, so first of all, let us see what exactly the Codeignator is, uh, what I can do by using this Codeignator framework is nothing but by using Codeignator framework, we can develop web applications. Nothing but framework, a Codeignator framework is a web application development framework. By using this, we can build web applications. Can I build desktop applications using CI? No, it is not for desktop applications. This is for web applications, right? The CI for helps us to develop the projects in much faster seriously coordinator for three we already know this was very very faster in the same manner the same fastestness was available in ci4 as well guys so what exactly the coordinator is going to give us you know it is going to give you an expect exceptional performance and we don't need any zero configuration and we don't need any command line knowledge like for example if we can go to laravel to create a controller there is a command to create a model there is a command to create schema there is a command if we can go to angular to create a component there is a command to create a service there is a command for everything we have to know at least a minimalistic command line knowledge but in ci4 we don't want to require anything guys here right so if this is one of the easiest framework the framework may be completely rewritten but it is going to be very easy nothing major difference is there just if you are already working on ci3 it is going to be very easy for you even though you are a very new to codeignator also yes we can learn this framework very easily yes this is what exactly the CI4 and some of the major advantages are there when I compare to other frameworks like Laravel framework, Gen framework, Symfony framework. We have very good advantages. I can tell you one good advantage here, exceptional performance and zero configuration and no need, no need of command line knowledge. Seriously guys, there are the powerful features but in other frameworks if you want to work with definitely you have, you have to get this knowledge. What is this command line knowledge you have to do? You have to do some configuration right we we don't give you guarantee whether they will give you exceptional performance or not but whereas coordinator 4 3 and 2 are all going to give you very good performance guys here right this is what exactly the framework is in this series we are going to cover complete coordinator 4 with the real time real time scenarios we are going to give you a complete picture of ci4 so we are going to create all the videos one by one right so now we are giving you introduction of the requirements to work with coordinator 4 of the installation folder structure controllers models and view by, by combining all these things we are going to give you a complete picture in this series now before going to the next thing so i want to give you some small in information about a framework what is a framework what a framework can do for us here we have a coding as a framework not only in php php uh, we have a lot of frameworks are there in this PHP, Codeignator, Laravel, Symfony, YII and Gen framework, a lot of things are there. If you can see Java also we have some frameworks. If you can go with JavaScript also, we have some frameworks called Angular, React and Node. We have a lot of frameworks are there here also, right? So what a framework can do? By using a framework, we can develop applications. 
like web applications or desktop applications unfortunately we cannot develop desktop applications by using ci framework we can develop web applications by using ci framework if you want to develop a desktop application then we can proceed with the java in java we have some other things and dot net also we can use for desktop applications right this was exactly the framework purpose and what exactly the framework is in simple word a framework is nothing but concising the code c o n c i s i n g concising what is the meaning of it nothing but reducing the number of lines of code for example you want to validate an email id in core php for this you have to write lot of lines of code maybe 10 lines of code 12 lines of code you want to validate a mobile number yes you have to write some lines of code but if it is a code generator already it is a framework just one line of code is enough to validate the email id one line of code is enough to validate the mobile number guys this is nothing but the concising reducing the number of lines of code if you use core php we have to build everything from very bottom to end but if it is a framework half of the code was baked already so just we have to use it this is what exactly the framework purpose is here if you can see some of the advantages almost all frameworks not only in php you can go java and net every framework will follow mvc architecture nothing but almost all frameworks will follow single uh, some of the design design patterns they are nothing but mvc almost all in our php every framework every cms is following mvc architecture anyhow i will explain you what exactly the mvc architecture is when i am entering into the subject clearly so without mvc knowledge we cannot we cannot understand the framework what exactly the framework is how the framework is going to help us and we cannot understand and moreover we have one more feature here secured code what is the meaning of secured code frameworks by default they will come with security but in a particular point of situations we have to implement the security by default all frameworks are not secured at a time all at a time some of the code uh, they will secure their folder structure and the file structure they will write some code to make it secure but if it is a form level and database level when we are entering data into database when we are selecting data from database we have to be somewhat we have to filter the data to save in the database and while getting the data also we have to clean it something like so somewhat the security is also going to be implemented here right and one more advantage here duplicate and redundant code can be avoided what is the meaning of it for example i have some block of code which is going to be reused in each and every where of my application or in my class then you want me to hard code each and every where no i don't want to hard code i want to reuse it wherever i want so let me keep that code into a function which is reusable i am keeping that into a one function wherever i need that code i will call that function simply that is called reusability so almost all application development time is also going to be reduced very significantly guys right if time reduces all almost all cost is also going to be reduces like this we have a lot of advantages are there in the frameworks guys if we can use to develop your applications in a framework yes this is going to be very faster and very, within less time you can complete the application development if time reduces automatically cost is also going to be reduced guys this is what exactly the framework is in coding nitter 4 series we are going to cover complete including a small real time project also we are going to discuss inside of it in the complete series i don't know how many videos we are going to create in this series but we want to give you a complete real time picture definitely guys we are here to help you in this don't worry right so thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section and please subscribe our channel gopi hp thank you very much